you know, you put things out in the universe, sometimes they happen. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Misty and I am a reseller on eBay. I also own a brick and mortar antique store called Wildflower Antiques. So I like to go out and find uh, antiques and vintage treasures for my home, for my shop, and to sell on eBay. However, we can't do that right now. So I actually have a haul of things that were in my car from three weeks ago. Um, I went to the post office and noticed that I had a couple bags in there and I mean, it's not a lot of stuff, but um, I went a couple weeks ago when things were starting to all kind of happen, you know, in this country, and I knew I wanted to go out one last time, so I went into a small little thrift store called Bitter's Junction, and then I also went into White River Arts and Antiques. They're right next door to one another where I live, and so I ran into each one real quick and got a little, got a few things, and again, this was three weeks ago, so this isn't a new haul. I have not been out. Everything is closed, so I can't go out. So I found these in my car, and I thought I'd just go ahead and show them to you. A few of the things I'm going to keep, so I actually wasn't even going to do a haul on this because... I mean, I'm going to keep a lot of it, but I figured I'd just go ahead and show you what I bought. And, and I am, you might notice, this is the same shirt I had on for a video that was out yesterday. But, you know, we're stuck at home and I'm just cranking out some videos and I'm, I'm, I got the same shirt on. I, don't, I know that you don't care. You probably don't even remember. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with this small little treasure haul. The first little place that I went into was Bitter's Junction. It's one of my newest favorite places to go into and check. Unfortunately, they're closed. Um, I feel bad for them because they just recently opened. So, um, you know, hopefully they can get through this because it is a really great little spot to go in and look for treasures. And they're it's ran by a, a bunch of wonderful, wonderful people. So if they do get opened back up again soon, I will definitely continue to keep you know, giving them some business because they, they have a lot of neat stuff in there. All right, the first thing that I found were these two little bottles. Now, I haven't cleaned these yet. Um, I need to soak them in a sink full of water. They're very dirty, but I like bottles. They were a dollar each. And these are Edison battery oil bottles. Um, they were made by the Thomas Edison Corporation in uh, Bloomfield, New Jersey. USA. They're embossed. They also have the embossment of Thomas Edison on each side. They're exactly the same, but um, I'm going to soak them in a sink full of water for a little while and some a Dawn dish detergent. Let them soak for a little while and clean them up and I will display them somewhere in my home. I really think that they're cool. I like them a lot. For a dollar each, I thought that they were a great buy. The other thing that I got was 50 cents and I like Halloween things and so I'm going to use this in my Halloween displays here at the house. It's a new stamp but it just has the the witch's hat on it and it says wicked. I just thought it would look cute just kind of set up on a shelf. You can see it's just a stamp or maybe I can use it and I can stamp my packages or the boxes on my packages. I never thought about that. Hmm, That's kind of a good idea. It's made by Katie and Co. I don't know. I don't know stamps very well. But I got it to, to use on a display. And then this other thing that I got, I'm going to use to make some crafts, which I know I'm not, I don't normally sit down and do crafts. I'm not very good at it, but my daughter is. And so she's home from college now. So I think we're going to craft a little bit. We may, we'll probably will film it and you'll see how much of a train wreck that I am in crafting and how good she is at it. So I'm hoping that she will be the, the the leavening agent to make it not be a complete disaster. But I bought some things at the antique mall that I wanted to use as inspiration for a craft. And I had gone to this little place first and I bought these. It's like, you, you know, you put things out in the universe. Sometimes they happen. And I was putting this out in the universe and it happened. And they are these little vintage Easter, wooden Easter ornaments. A lot of people will use these and they'll hang them from like little Easter trees, but I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to do with them. I paid $2.50 for the box of them and they're just so cute. There's rabbits and carrots and birds and eggs. Now I do have an entire bag full of eggs already that I've had in my Easter decor that I pulled down from the shop, which wasn't a lot because I tend to 
hoard all of it here. You know, I thought I was a Santa hoarder. Well, it turns out I'm an Easter hoarder too. That's an upcoming video that's going to come out soon and you'll see how ridiculous I am. But let me show you what I'm going to do, what I'm going to try to do with these little guys. So that's all that I bought from the little the little thrift store then i went to the antique mall that was next door and i found this was the first thing the first two things that i found when i walked in the door and i mean they're just adorable and i'm gonna try to recreate them not exactly because i don't have the exact things but you'll get a general idea now i don't remember how much i spent i want to say i spent like 16 or 18 dollars at the antique mall they take the prices off and the receipts already been filed away with my other receipts. So I want to say that I paid $16 or $18 for everything that I'm about to show you. This is was the first thing I saw. And it is so stinking cute. But it's a little uh, metal child's teacup from a child's like lithograph set. I don't have any of these. I wish I did because if I did, I'd be doing this exact same thing. But they took one of these little wooden Easter guys and they put a little bit of Easter grass in there and turned them into a little Easter egg cup. The way that they had this displayed, they had a string on it and they had it hung from like a brush, like a taller brush Christmas tree. And it was the cutest thing ever. I should have taken a picture of it, but I didn't. But I just think that this is just so cute. The little cup here is an Ohio art, uh, which is a really predominant company that made these lithograph toys but I went around the shop and I tried to find like little vessels that I could use to make some of these and I found some but look at the blue color in that with that yellow it's just get off my face you and focus on the little duck so stinking cute now I think I have some of this grass so I'll have to look and see but I, I'm going to try to replicate that then this thing it's just, I mean, I had to have, and I want to say that I paid $6 for this, which is quite a lot, but I couldn't resist it. And they had all different kinds, but that's, this is just the one that spoke to me. Then I got this one too. Look, look at the little bunny. I mean, isn't this such a good idea? Now, this is just a little box. They probably sell these at Joann's or Hobby Lobby, but you can't go there now, but if you have these on hand, then you could, you know, they just painted it. It's just one of those brown little kind of cardboardy boxes. And they put the little Easter grass in. I don't know where they found this guy, but he is, I mean, adorable. They had all different kinds, but this bunny right here is what was speaking to me. And then they just put a couple of those little wooden eggs in. I mean, you could even put like Happy Easter here. I mean, I just think that I just loved it so much. I had to buy it. It was $6 as well. Then the rest of the things... There's a couple things that I'm going to sell. I'll just show you the things that I'm probably going to keep. This guy was a dollar, and I just think that he's cute. And I know my girl, Ashley Rose, will love this because she likes this kind of thing, but I just think that this is so cute. It's a little chick. It's a little hand-painted chick. Isn't it cute? This is very, like, 1990s. Oh, yeah. Actually, it's 1980s. It's 1986. It was painted by V. Neely. V. Neely, you did, you painted an adorable little duck. But I just think he'd look cute in, in an Easter, like a tear tray or something for a dollar. So I'm keeping that. These guys, I'm not, I'm kind of on the fence. I don't need these, but I love them. And I got them for a very good price. They are, they were normally $7 and they were 50% off. So I, and like for the set. And so I got the set for like $4.50, I want to say. And they are these milk glass salt and pepper shakers with the aluminum lids. I know, $4.50 for the set. They're not like, a, I don't, well, I'm sure that they are a brand, but they're not marked as a brand. But I love this red milk glass or white milk glass with the red paint. So I'm probably going to keep these. Now I have a jadeite set that we use every day. But I might keep these to change them out every once in a while. They're a good size. I just love them. That was a great, a great find. That was, that's almost as good as the duck. I mean, it's, it's almost as good as the duck. And then just a couple more things. I found these. Now, I don't think that these, 
originally went together. Actually, I know that they, well, I don't know that they didn't, but I'm pretty sure that they didn't. But they were selling them as a set. And they were, I think maybe $5 for the set. And I know that I have a lot of owl collectors, so these will be available. I will probably show them in a live sale very, very soon that I do every Wednesday at one on my channel. And they're cute. They're just these little owl salt and pepper shakers. They, I don't think that they originally came together in a set. I think that, you know, this had a mate and this one had a mate, but then they just said, well, we'll just, we'll just marry them together. This one, the bigger one doesn't have the cork in it, but the smaller one does. I mean, people don't use these necessarily. I mean, I guess maybe they do, but I like salt and pepper shakers, like the figure ones, and I don't use them. I just use them in displays. But they're very, very cute, and they don't have any flaws on them anywhere. There's no chips, no no scratches on them anywhere. And I like how the little guy's just a winking owl. So these will be available in a sale that I'm going to be doing on my YouTube channel very, very soon. So keep an eye out for those. Then the last thing that I got was also 50% off. And I wanna say that I paid like 350 for this and it's lovely. And I, I haven't decided I'm gonna keep it or I'm gonna sell it. I'm probably going to sell it. Well, let me just show you what it is. It's a little butter. Oh, it says butter on the top. Butter canister, crock. It's very aged on the inside, which I like. I, that's why I like ironstone pottery so much is because it shows its character and its wear and its age. And I like that. And it's on the lid too, but there's no, no chips, no cracks on it. It's made out of a pottery. I know that this is probably has a brand, but I don't know. It's made in Japan. And I like it when people put these little notes on things. And I was trying to read it and I couldn't. But usually someone will put, um, I found in the past, people will put little notes on things like Grandma Smith's Butter Crock. And I like to keep that, you know, that with the item because they, they go together. It just shows some of the history. I've always said that I wish I could just touch something and, and see what who owned it and what its history was. But just like for like a split second, you know, just to see who owned it at one time. But very pretty lattice design on it with these really pretty uh, blue flowers. And the cow, even the cow on the top, his little horns aren't chipped at all. Is that a, no, that's not a flaw. I mean, he's, it doesn't have any, there's no, there's no flaws on it, which is amazing, you know, for the age that it is, but it's very cute. Little, little butter, cow butter crock for three fifty, dollars which, you know, I say this all the time, guys. I mean, I know right now we can't go sourcing at, at antique malls, but when we can again, don't rule out going sourcing or even shopping for home decor for yourself at an antique mall or an antique shop. Because again, with I am an antique store owner. Right now we're only open four times a year. We were open regularly than that, but um, we've, we're just changing things up a little bit. But I know for a fact, because I do this, I have done it and I will still continue to do it. When I have had something for a while and I need the space, I'm gonna mark it down. Uh, not every antique dealer sells on eBay. Not every antique shop owner researches things on eBay. And sometimes they're just ready to move it on so they can add new stock that they have to their shelves. So don't think that you can't go into an antique establishment and buy things for a good price because you can't, as you can see, as I did. So that's, that's all. I mean, that was my little stashed away hidden haul. Um, the last one that of that that I have purchased out in the wild that I haven't had in the box for ever, like what I have at the shop. But that that's that's it. It's gonna be it for a while as far as things that I have recently bought. I will continue to do kind of mystery unboxings of stock that we've had in the back of the shop and cleaning shelves and that kind of thing to provide content for you to see kind of cool vintage things and um you know because we can't go out and go sourcing so we're just trying to be creative that's why i'm doing a crafting video which we'll see how that goes but you know i've got some inspiration now to try it so i hope that you enjoyed this 
little small, little, little haul. And if you did, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and the little bell and you will be notified when I upload the crafting video. That's going to be interesting. We'll see. So I will, I hope you guys are all doing well and taking care of yourself and one another. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.